Let's jump into episode 2 of season 2 of Vice Principles, man. The mystery continues. Who shot Gambi? Who shot ya? Huh? Gambi, who shot ya? Who shot ya? What to begin, begin? What to begin, begin? Who shot this guy, man? Like I said earlier, I have my lists. My list is Russell, Belinda, even though I don't feel like, even though I feel just bad about putting Belinda on that list, but you can't deny she has the strongest motive. So even if she 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 she, she gives a... She made some good points about Russell, but that doesn't clear her in my books, even though I love Belinda and I hope it's not her. You know, I hope it was her and she never gets caught, actually. Because Gambi decided they deserved those two. Fuck. Russell, Belinda, Swifty, Hayden... There was someone else and Abbott, the chick who, the female teacher who has a super crazy crush on Gambi. The one who can't just give Gambi space. It could be her. Season 2, episode 2, Slaughter. Damn, motherfucker, you need a new pair damn. of kicks. Them right there raggedy as fuck. That damn marinara sauce on them. That's Mr. Gambi's blood right there. You've been walking around here with blood on your shoes talking about they lucky. Walking in a kitchen too, man. That's not hygienic. The lucky man on thumb the pinky and back again in 30 seconds. Y'all yeah. gather around. Uh-huh. Reggie about to lose her lunch money. I love how everyone just, you know, congregated to see to see this go down. What a what a weird challenge. You about to need a ride home. Your bus fare is gone. Uh-huh. You better lose the finger. I'm a bad motherfucker. <laughs> I know you're my shooter. Right now, Officer Willis is about to find a 9mm handgun wrapped in a trench coat. Oh, Gamby, I'm not seeing any of that. I don't got no gun, man. Shut up! Get to class, goddammit. Keep walking, Landry. Do not dance to these... You son of a... <laughs> I almost tased his ass. Well, maybe you should have, the way he's dancing on your reputation. I can't keep following your crazy leads, man. Well, maybe I'll just solve this case on my own, Willis. Good. Jesus, why don't you announce yourself? Yo, Gamby, I'm here. You're still wearing that damn sweatshirt. We are the Tigers. I hid my phone in a lounge just recording the teacher's meeting. Recording? I'm gonna be a fly on the wall, find out who the shit talkers are. Well, is everyone up for payday drinks? Oh, oh yes. Yes? yes. 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 Elitist motherfuckers. Actually, I can't. Sorry, I'm meeting Brian. Sorry. Ooh, it sounds like Snodgrass is getting railed by another man. I got a whiff of Russell's breath this morning. I still smell it. Can you tell me where he buys his little costume? Those are the loudest clothes I've ever seen. Smells like rain. Lord, it burns my eyes every time we walk by. I hate him. Okay. All right. All right. That's not good for your health. Listening in on that. It's better to just ignore, man. It's better to just always assume people are talking shit, man. And just learn to ignore that shit. <laughs> it's old, but it's got charm. Where's the closest neighbor? Uh, about a mile down the road. It smells like shit. Did somebody die in here? Uh, somebody actually did die. Is that mine too? The barn? Yep. I'll take it. I'll be honest with you, Robbie Rex. Recently, someone tried to commit first degree murder against my body and that killer is still at large. That's why I'm looking for a place that can be secluded, heavily fortified, turn this place into an impenetrable fortress. He's coming back. And when he does, I'm going to be fucking ready. Mr. Gamby's brother? <laughs> mm. That's not funny, Gail. We could be brothers. He's married to the woman. She used to be my wife. She bore me the girl. She bore me the girl, man. I love the way he talks. Hey, Sean, the real reason I brought you here today mm. was to see if you could help me identify the shooter. Oh, good lord. Janelle, don't watch any R-rated films. You know, I busted her watching Revenge of the Nerds the other day. You know, that movie shows Bush. The shooter could be any one of these people. That's a thick-ass book. Surprised there are more. All these black kids, man. Man, this dude had black hair like an Indian. Like Gandhi. Gandhi ain't have no hair. Have you ever seen Smoke Signals? No, I've never seen that film. Can you use a better reference? Oh shit, there you go. Very interesting. I thought the hair was part of the mask. I guess I was wrong. I thought the hair was just attached. I thought the long hair was attached to the mask. Hello, Octavia. Oh, this ought to be good. <laughs> good morning, Lee. Don't you know that it's rude to talk about other people behind their backs? Dude, LeBlanc is such a boss, man. I love her so much. I probably would have hated her as a teacher, but watching her maneuver through these fools, the way she treats uh, Gambi and Russell and Belinda, she's like, you can't punk LeBlanc. She's too connected, man. You can't punk LeBlanc. 
Fantastic. Good luck trying to hurt my feelings because guess what? You can't. Yeah, if you want it. Well, I love you. <laughs> Bye. Was that him? It was my mom. Oh, because I was going to say, it's a little soon to be saying that to him. Just saying it to, um, to my mom. Yeah, well, you've known your mom for a long time, so it's natural. Oh my God, is that a whole binder of suspects? Oh my God, yes it is. I'm very glad I don't put Brian in here. Excuse me? Why don't you just keep your nose clean, Snodgrass? What? Russell said you supposed to show me the ropes. I'll try you by fire. Let's go, Boogie. Let's see what kind of man you are. You want to be a man, huh? Robin Chandrell found the ultimate payload of all of his reefers, busted his ass and had him expelled. My theory? He's been plotting his revenge for the last year, waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. That's him. That's Robin Chandrell. Of course he cut his hair. He's hiding. All the fucking makeovers in the world won't hide his filthy soul. I had a feeling Gambi and uh, Nash would get along. It's kind of weird going to his house. Oh, jeez. No, he's walking over here. He's what? Get out of the fucking car, Gambi. We were looking for truants. I didn't know you lived here. You're spying on me. I saw you at my work. I know you're the one who shot me. I heard about that. I'm really fucking glad that it happened. You know why? Because you're a piece of fucking shit. Watch it, punk. Shut the fuck up. Confess. Confess into my voice memo application now. Fucking frame me like the last time, Gamby. I never kept my shit in my lock. I'm not that fucking stupid. Planet. You framed me. That's what you did. Get back here. Oh, shit. I appreciate your fall through there. That was good how you yeah. followed directions, but you need to be quicker. It's not fast enough. Uh, catching strays, man. I used to be friends with all the teachers. Then I became principal, and they all started complaining. With Miss LeBlanc leading the wolf pack, I want to kill her so bad. I want to do like the Muslims and chop her fucking head off and make a video out of it. You might just make it worse. You catch more flies with honey. You dusty old queef. Oh, Christina, I'm sorry. You set me up. I had to. Nobody gets my sense of humor. The best way to win their loyalty is to be nice. Kindness is power. That is beautiful. Ooh, fuck yeah. He has a gun. Surprise, surprise! Sushi time in the teacher's lounge. Is it fresh? Oh, it is so fresh, it is caught daily. And I paid for it. He's probably spitting in the food, knowing Russell, man. Come on, y'all, what's the holdup? I think we're just not in the mood for sushi. Not in the mood? I'm just trying to be good old Cool Hand Lee here to let y'all know that nothing's changed. <laughs> <laughs> she's laughing. She is, she's laughing. Boss, that's how you see yourself? I am technically the boss of everyone. Not me. I work for the district. You, you wouldn't were... even be the principal if two other people hadn't crapped out on us. You are the last man standing. Meow. Okay, y'all. I get it. Get it. Get it. You don't need me. Take my attempt at a loving gesture and eat it off the fucking floor. Yeah, it's war time, baby. The lines have been drawn. I have a real suspect now. His name is Robin Shandrell. Well, if that's so, I would need a warrant to do a home search, and I don't have one. You go over there trying to bust that kid yourself. You be breaking all kinds of laws. You understand? I guess now I know what Willow stands for. Pussy Willows. You okay? I'm all alone, Gamby. You are my one true ally. What are you doing, Mr. Kane's bolt cutters? You're gonna do something fucked up, aren't you? You're doing investigation stuff without me? I told you that I would help you with that, Gamby. I wanna get my hands dirty, like last semester. Yeah, they had a lot of fun last semester. Man. What am I supposed to do? Come on, Russell, you're the principal, man. Command the situation. I am the fucking principal. Um, uh, uh, hello. Robin! Somebody'd see you. I'm yeah. You hit a woman, Robin? What the fuck is wrong with you? Are you a fucking uh, idiot? Hey. I mean, I'm not gonna fucking apologize to your vice principal shit. I didn't, I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. Get the fuck out of my house. The kid is always sweating, man. What's going on? Do he speaks to is it anxiety or? He's a very scared voice. Probably anxiety, man, or drugs. What's the matter, Papa? Did you do do? All right, come on, Papa. Let's get a bath, okay? I'll always be here. I'll always take care of you. Feeling like an asshole now. Oh, that kid. He's definitely your shooter. 
Did you see how poor his family was? Poor people always commit crimes. It's in their DNA. I may have put my thumb on the scales of justice a bit. The marijuana that was found in his locker, I planted it. You framed a child. I just didn't see any other way. I had to send a message to the student body. You break the law, I fuck you raw. It's a Gamby promise. That's what I'm talking about. No nonsense. So you think that's cool? I'm just kind of struggling with it. I feel like I ruined this kid's life. and I'm Struggling? Just trying to... You're an inspiration. I know what it is that I have to do now. LeBlanc, Carter, Kingsbury, Send Ross, and Snodgrass. They all about to get fucked raw. The Neil Gamby way. Well, maybe don't fuck Snodgrass raw. I mean, Why? She's probably getting 69 right now. Don't say that. Just like this right now. No, it's gross. Russell. I'll spare Snodgrass. Russell is on a rampage again. Principal Russell wants to see ya. Pronto. What? Thank you all for coming out here and joining me. You all need a lesson in respecting your superiors. Oh, I'm serious, Bruce. I'm as serious as a heart attack that you had last year. Is this about not wanting to eat sushi? Oh, this is way bigger than eating sushi. This is about me firing all of you. If I see you again on this campus, you will be shot on sight. ID's in the bucket. Oh, Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Relax. Hey. Hey. I'm surprised she's actually going along with it, man. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Why don't you take your Euripides and shove it up your ass before I have Gammy Frog walk you the fuck out of this forest? You bunch of has been. This is my life's work. Gamby, why don't you do the honors? Have yourself a thrill kill. <laughs> you know what? I don't even care. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Well, fuck you. Oh! I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> oh my god. The season one nonsense is happening again. Where well, Gamby is finding himself having to do what Russell wants, even though he doesn't really agree with it, man. It's the whole Belinda thing again. You know, his agenda against Belinda was so strong, and you could tell at some point Gamby wasn't feeling it, you know. But he went along with it because. Of the manipulation by Russell. Russell is a master manipulator, man. I'm sure he's the one who shot Gamby. At this point, I feel like it's him, man. Ice cold killer, Gamby. Fucking brutal. Just like you. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Belinda's shoe, huh? This is no life for a boy your age. You don't give a fuck. You don't care. You and I both know that what I did to you wasn't right. I want to change that. You still did what you did. Hopefully this could be a step in the right direction. Three admission papers to North Jackson High. You can return to school if you want to. You can't sell drugs. You can't act like an asshole. You gotta fall in line. What's up, Mr. Gamby? I wanted to apologize to you for the rib dinner. It wasn't enough. I got something for you. Something I feel is more appropriate for you saving my life. Looks like we both in this motherfucker for real. Mortalize. Two heroes, you and I. Life debt repaid. I'm cool with it if you <laughs> are. Nowhere near. What the fuck is that? I don't know, but that's a nice ass car. But this is strictly for buses. Hi! Where's she going to? <laughs> you okay, Miss Gamby? Does it annoy you that she's with someone rich now? Does that piss you off? Does it annoy you that she upgraded to someone with money, with a nice car? <laughs> Walton Goggins. That's Russell's name, man. Eh? Walton Goggins. That was a good moment between um, Gambi and... Um, Sh is it Shardell? Chantrell. The goth kid, man. The one working at the butchers. Good moment. Gambi recognizing his uh, mistakes and uh, making an attempt to make that right, man. I can't believe Russell actually punked LeBlanc like that. You know, I thought LeBlanc was untouchable. I thought she, if she works for the district, then um, Russell should not be able to fire her. Can the, can the principal fire teachers? I don't think that's the case. You know, maybe you can recommend that someone be transferred to another school, but I don't think you can fire teachers if they work for the district, man. Unless you hired them, unless it's like... You know, some teachers are hired by the school. Some are assigned by the ministry. That's how it usually goes. The ones assigned by the ministry, their jobs tend to be more secure, man. The ones hired by the school sort of have to keep impressing to keep their jobs, you know. Um, that was episode two. That was episode two.
Yeah. Yeah, I'm very suspicious of Russell, man. Russell has no Russell doesn't have a soft spot unless it's for himself. When he decides to fuck you over, he's going to fuck you over. Gambi might do it, but he'll have reservations. He'll have mixed feelings about it, but I feel like Russell is like, yeah, I'm going to fucking kill. He's, he's so sadistic. That's why I highly suspect him for Gambi getting shot, man. He's just keeping Gambi close, I feel like. He's a master manipulator, bro. He's a master manipulator. Gambi is constantly being manipulated by Russell, man. He needs to... He needs to... He needs to cut that leash, man. You know, he needs he needs to sever that connection. Because he's definitely getting the worst of it, man. You know, because Russell has always felt Russ has always felt off. You know. I'll see you guys in the next one.